Hey guys, we are going to graph points on our coordinate plane. These are often called ordered pairs. If you ever hear that term, this is what they are referring to. Now, when we graph these, the biggest things we need to remember is that this is our x-axis. A lot of times it will be labeled like this. The, so the horizontal one is our x-axis. The vertical one, the one going up and down, is our y-axis. So we need to remember that because these ordered pairs here, they go x, y, which basically just means I go left and right and then up and down. All right, so when I look at A, I always start at 0, 0, right here where the two axes cross. It's also called the origin. Now, doing X first and then Y, I'm going to go to the right 3 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is my point A. All right, let's go ahead and look at B. Remember, I do right and left first. Because this is a negative 2, I'm starting at 0, 0, and I'm going to go to the left 2 because it's negative. Then the 9 is positive, so I'm going to go up 9. And that is B. Next, I have C, where they are both negative. So again, I start at 0, 0. I'm going to go to the left 5 for negative 5, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is point C. All right, for D, my X is positive and the Y is negative. So I'm going to start at 0, 0, go to the right 7, and down 1. Right there is point D. Okay, sometimes we have zeros, right? So what does that mean? Well, remember, I always start at 0, 0. And then when X is 0, that means I'm not going to go right or left at all. I'm going to stay at 0. And then Y is 6, so I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that point is right on the Y axis. That is point E. Then on this one, my X is negative 8 and my Y is 0. So as always, I start at 0, 0. I'm going to go to the left 8. And then Y is 0, so I'm not going to go up and down at all. My point is going to be right on the X axis, and that is point F. All right, I hope that was helpful. Thanks.